Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala sayyidil anbiya wal mursalin Amma ba'd fa'audhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Respected viewers This is the program The Power of a Book Hosted by Muslim Channel Uganda Powered by DBS And I'm your host Dr. Idi Diavawe Today's book is How to Spend Our Youth and this was published by Maktabatul Madina, the publishing house of Dawat -e Islami. This book was published in the year 2016. It has a very long uh, table of contents, but we are going to go for some of the pearls in this book so as to inspire others to read this book. Obviously, the book starts with excellence of salawat upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. It says the mercy for the entire creation the guide to the path of salvation, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, has said, O oh people, without doubt, the one to attain salvation quickly on the day of judgment from its horrors and accountability will be the one amongst you who will have recited salat upon me in abundance in the world. This hadith is in Jami ul Jawami. Respected listeners, um, the specific contents we are going for in this book are the definition of youth and searching for youth because there's a parable about how someone was searching for his youth and then worshiping young age how it brings about peace in your old age also the value for the youth time and also um, youth time being used even if you're entering old age and then the hard work in youth what's the benefit of the hard work in youth during your old age. And then we shall also see who is the beloved man of Allah Azza wa Jal. Who is better than the angels? And also we shall see what is the secret, the best life. Everyone wants the best life. And then who is the real bondman of Allah? Is youth really a divine favor? And how is it? What's the superiority of a young worshiper? What's the excellence of old age? Who are those fortunate ones who will be under the shade of the Arsh. What's the advice of Imam Ghazali pertaining to youth? What are the excellences of repentance in youth? How is it excellent to do istighfar in youth? And we shall look at the advice to a young man. So we start this with an interesting parable, the search for youth. It is said that an elderly person was once passing through some area. He was so bent that it looked as if he was looking for something over the ground. Seeing him, a comical young man, a youth, he said in jest, O oh, old man, what are you searching for? What are you looking for? Although what he was saying was infuriating, the old man replied whilst demonstrating great tolerance and sagacity and presenting a thought-provoking piece of advice in return for this taunting remark. He said, Oh son, I am looking for my youth. Meaning his youth was lost and he was looking for it, searching for it, as if searching for it on the ground. So he said, That, oh son, I am looking for my youth. Astonished to have had an unexpectedly amazing reply to his snide comment, the young man asked, Dear uncle, I could not comprehend what you mean. Is youth something of a kind that it can be looked for? Is it something that you can look for like you've lost your pen or anything that you're looking for it on the ground? Really? Has anyone losing it once ever been able to regain it? This is what the youth is asking the old man. The elderly man responded, This is what I regret now. When young, I could not avail myself of it. Today, I have realized its significance, but, but, I no longer have it. If only I had regained it so that I would make up for my past follies and foibles and would worship Allah Azza wa Jal wholeheartedly. There is a poem that is uh, excerpted here as well, that if only my youth had returned to me, if only my youth had returned to me, if only my youth had returned to me, so I would inform it of how old age has treated me. This is how the old man replies to the young 
man. Then, having a deep sigh, while heaving that deep sigh of remorse and regret, he went on to say, this old man, that extremely gratefully I have lost my wealth of youth. Now there is no use crying over spilt milk. I could not benefit from my youth. I could neither perform virtuous deeds nor make any preparations for my afterlife, but rather spent my youth sleeping deeply over the bed of heedlessness. I am now in my old age, in my dotage, with deteriorating health and weakening body. I have enthusiasm for worship. I want to worship. I do want to worship now, but I have lost the courage due to being old. Then, making individual effort, the old man said, O oh son, by the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal, you are now young. Take advantage of your youth. Exert yourself to perform worship. Bow in the court of Allah Azza wa Jal before you get bent like I am. Otherwise, just like me, just like me, you will also be searching for your youth, having nothing except wistfulness and shamefulness. You will be empty-handed to have lost your childhood in playing and youth in sleeping and will be crying in old age. The elderly man's polite way of counseling in an advising and sympathizing manner and tone along with his fragrant madani pearls of individual effort, they touched the heart of this young man, this youth. They impressed him very greatly. The very same young man who had shot an arrow of a taunting remark to this old aged man is this very same young man who was now inspired by these words of this old man. A few moments ago, he had taunted these remarking words which were very, very heartbreaking. But right now, he's inspired to promise the old man that he would make the best use of his youth by spending it in piety. Highlighting the significance of the youth, the author then quotes some couplets from uh, Samane Bakshish, which is authored by uh, Mufti Azamehin Maulana Mustafa Razakhan. If you want to read this, please get the book known as How to Spend Our Youth. We then go further into the book. We are delving deep into the book. What is youth? We have had that interesting parable, but what is youth? What is the age range of youth? What's the definition of youth? It's stated on page 455 of the first volume of uh, the book known as Faizayne Sunnah, The Blessings of Sunnah, published by Maktabatul Madina, that according to dic dictionaries of Islam, a person remains young in his youth from the age of puberty to the age of 30 or 40 years. From 30 to 50 years, this is known as the middle age. Then, from 50 years above, this is known as the old age. What are the blessings of Quran and a young man? The Islamic brothers, the author says that youth's time is a stage of life when physical intellectual capabilities and abilities are to their best capacity and hence they can greatly be benefited from. It is indeed the best age to acquire religious knowledge and study Islamic scriptures. Those are the holy books of Islam. In old age, man often goes crazy, losing his wisdom and power of consideration. The treasure of memory gets buried, meaning his memory decreases gradually. Mentally disturbed, the old sometimes behave like children. They do ridiculous things at times. But the good news is for the young man who is habitual in reciting the Holy Quran because he will remain protected from such troubles and tribulations if he reaches his old age. And the proof from this is quoted from the book authored by Mufti Ahmad Yarhan Naimi Alayhi Rahma, his book known as Nurul Irfan. He says that he narrates from Sayyidina Ikrima radiallahu ta'ala anhu that the young man who is habitual of reciting the Holy Quran will not be affected by this condition of being forgetful of knowledge in the old age that he had gained in his young age. This is in Nurul Irfan. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
what of worship in the young age? It's fact that it brings peace in old age. What's the statement about this? The author says that these above parables we have seen and couplets that we have had, they show that the one who recites the Holy Quran in youth will remain safe from forgetfulness in old age by the blessings of the Quran. It is commonly observed, if you do observe generally, that most old people use foul language and they forget things, but there are some fortunate old people who are so knowledgeable and intellectual that others feel overawed by them. One of the reasons of this glory and greatness is the recitation of the Quran and the, the, the other acts of worship performed in youth. The critical need of valuing our youth time. A great tabi is saint known as Sayyidina Amr bin Maimun Audi, Rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, he narrated that the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has said, whilst advising a person, value five things before five other things. Value five things before five other things. We should value the youth before old age and value health before illness, value wealth before destitution, value the leisure time before being busy and value life before death. This is found in Mishkatul Mashabi. There is an interesting couplet from a Sufi poet named as Sayyiduna Sheikh Muslihuddin Sa'adi Shirazi, who is a very famous poet amongst the Islamic poets. He says, O oh, heedless person, today your hands of health and courage are strong and free. Do something with them. Tomorrow, these will be wrapped around the shroud. How can they be used then? Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. What of youth even in old age? Stressing the importance of worship in youth. Sayyidina Alam ibn Rajab al-Hambali alayhi rahmatullahi al-Qawi has stated that one who remembers Allah Azza wa Jal in his youth will be helped by Allah Azza wa Jal in his old age. And weakness, besides being blessed, with good hearing, good vision, good strength and intellect. Despite reaching the age of 100 years, Sayyidina Abu Tayyib Tabari, Rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, Rahmatan wasi'a, he was mentally and physically fit and healthy. Someone asked him of the secret of his health. So he, Rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, replied, I protected my physical abilities from sins in my youth. So Allah Azza wa Jal has retained them for me in my old age. On the contrary, Sayyidina Junaid Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi, he saw an old begging man. He Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi said, this person wasted the rights of Allah Azza wa Jal in his youth. So Allah Azza wa Jal wasted his strength in old age. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. What of the fact that we should work hard in youth and then we shall benefit in old age. What is the statement that backs this? Sayyidina Anas bin Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu has said that when a bondman reaches the last part of his age, meaning having performed the good deeds in the state of Islam, Allah Azza wa Jal continues to record good deeds in his book of deeds, which he used to do in his state of health. This is from Musnad Abi Ya'la. The author takes us through another journey and we reach a station where he's discussing the beloved man of Allah. It is stated in a hadith Qudsi that Sayyidina Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu an has narrated that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, Allah Azza wa Jal said, the young man who believes in the predestination decided by me remains contented with what I have recorded for him, he contents himself with the sustenance I have granted him and suppresses the desires of his nafs for my pleasure is like some of my angels in my court. Subhanallah. This is from Jami al Jawami. Now, the author then asks a question and also answers it. Who can be better than the angels? So he says, dear Islamic brothers, remember that our Rasuls, the messengers, they are greater than the Rasuls of the angels. And the Rasuls of the angels, 
they are greater than the awliya, our awliya. And our awliya are greater than those angels who are not Rasul. The Fusaq and Fujar, those are the sinners and evildoers, can never be greater than angels. This is from Fatawa Razaviya. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. What is the secret to a best life? Everyone yearns for a best life. But how can you reach the best life? Hakimul Ummat, Mufti Ahmad Yarhan Naimi Alayhi Rahma, he reveals the secret to the best life as being worship and obedience to Allah. And he has said that every person spends his life. The best life is the one spent in devotion to Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah Azza wa Jal has particularly commanded charity for the very same people who have devoted their lives to Allah Azza wa Jal. May Allah Azza wa Jal have mercy upon them and forgive us without accountability for their sake. Amin bijahi nabil amin sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Who are the real bondmen of Allah? Sayyidina Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu anhu has narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said from amongst his creation Allah Azza likes the most the handsome faced young man who spends his youth and beauty in worshipping Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah Azza wa Jal gets proud of him in the presence of angels and he says he is my real bondman. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad wa alihi wa sallam. Now the youth is a divine favor. Youth is a great favor of Allah Azza wa Jal. One who has youth should value it while spending most of it in the acts of worship and obedience. One should benefit from these precious diamonds of time. And the worship performed in youth is greater than the worship done in old age as the perfect time for worship is youth. To know more about this, you should read this book known as how to spend our youth. What of the aspect of the superiority of a young worshipper? Sayyidina Anas bin Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated that the beloved and renowned Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has stated that the young man performing worship in the morning is superior to the old man worshipping in old age as the Rasuls alayhi musallatu wa sallam are superior to all people. This is found in Jami ul Jawami. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. What is the excellence of old age then? The revered and renowned Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, do not pull out white hair as it is nur, light, of a mu'min, a Muslim, a believer. The person who gets old in the state of Islam, for this reason, Allah Azza wa Jal will record good deeds for him, remove misdeeds, and raise his rank. That is found in Sunan Abi Dawood. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. The author then goes on and records to us the advice of Imam Ghazali. Imam Abu Hamid Muhammad bin Muhammad bin Muhammad al-Ghazali al-Shafi'i alayhi rahmatullah al-Wali has stated that do not consider how long you have been promising your nafs that you will commence performing virtuous deeds tomorrow. The tomorrow has turned into today. Do you not see that tomorrow has passed? Turning into yesterday, the fact is that you will be incapable of doing the good deed tomorrow you will be incapable of doing the good deed tomorrow more than today. One who leaves tomorrow's work unfinished until tomorrow and delays repentance and obedience is like the person who is unable to uproot the tree in his youth and delays it until the next year, despite knowing the fact that the tree will get stronger as time goes by and he will get weaker. Hence, one who is unable to uproot it in his youth will never be able to uproot it in his old age. This is found in Ihya Ulum al-Din. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. The excellence of repentance in youth. The greatest and holiest Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has stated that one who does penance, tawbah, in his youth is the beloved of Allah, azza wa jal.
And then the beloved bondman of Allah, Sayyidina Anas bin Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu, has narrated that the beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said that Allah azza wa jal does not like anyone more than the repenting youth. Meaning, this is the category that Allah azza wa jal likes most. Sallu ala al-habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Doing istighfar in youth. To make istighfar in youth is a sunnah of the Rasuls alayhi salatu was salam. In old age, even a cruel wolf puts on the guise of piety. You can get to know more about this when you read this book, known as How to Spend Our Youth. Then the author gives us 12 madani pearls of flowers of entering and leaving the home. In short, these are like sunnah acts of entering and leaving your home. These have been our insights from the book known as How to Spend Our Youth. وَلِلَّهِ الْكَرِيمَ الْفَاتِحَةِ مَعَ السَّلَوَاتِ